These are pretty cool. I got them from Daiso, so they were quite inexpensive. But they are magnetic swing cases. I could put a lot of little things in here for storage. Tchotchkes. I don't know. And keep it nice and organized. What's awesome is that it is magnetic. This is what it looks like without that packaging. It has a nice clear window here. So I'm going to put some pretty cool full color design and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so first let's remove all the packaging. I'm going to rip this off as well as make sure there's no tape or anything else stuck to it. For this specific project, I'm going to do a full all over print on top of this clear window. I want to print all the way to the edges, so I'm going to use some blue tape to prevent overspray on the sides. Overspray is when ink kind of sprays off where it's not supposed to, and in this case, it would be the sides of the container. And that's because we want to print edge to edge. It's practically impossible to print the exact coverage, so that's why we print a little extra which will spray onto the tape, which is protecting those sides, and then we can peel it off when it's all done. A tip that I have to mention, or more of a word of caution, is that it, you have to make sure you don't have any tape sticking up. You want it smooth and flat. That's why for the corners, I'm just folding them in so it's more secure. You don't want any of this to stick up during printing because that will rub off onto your print head and that's not good. So keep it smooth and just be mindful of that. I'll tape around all four sides and then I'll repeat this for all three of them. In previous videos, I've used the grippy mat as my template, so here's another way of doing things. You can do this if you don't need a whole lot of friction or resistance to hold down your object. I'm taping a sheet of regular cardstock paper to the bed. This is an 8.5 by 11 sheet that I cut in half. Obviously, this is very light and it will slide or flutter when the printhead swipes through as it prints. So I'm going to tape it down and same thing like we did with the box organizers. Be mindful that the tape isn't sticking up so that it does not get caught on the printhead. Sometimes I still reuse this same cardstock to print other templates and it just prints right on top of it without a problem. So I don't have to change this out so much. Here's a quick clip of a cardstock template that I reused a whole bunch. As long as you can see the print lines to guide you, it does the job just fine. Now that I have it all nice and flat, let's print our template so that we know where to place the boxes. I measured them beforehand and created my file in Illustrator. There is one small issue here and that's that I didn't know which way I oriented this, so I don't know which way is up. A quick way that I'm going to figure this out is to print a little bit of the design and then cancel the job just so that I know which side faces up. If I place this facing any way, we might have the artwork upside down or even sideways. Now that I have enough printed, I'll go ahead and cancel the job. So it looks like the right side is where the top is or the opening should be facing. So I'll go ahead and place it on. And what's cool about this organizer is that it's magnetic, so it actually sticks really well to the bed since it's made of metal, and we don't have to worry about it sliding around during printing. I'll be printing directly onto three of these organizers, so I'll print one of them first to make sure my settings are right, and then we'll do the last two together. All right, so you can see that it started printing. Take a look at the ink on the blue tape. This gives you a better visual for why we needed to do that. If we didn't, then this could be printing all sorts of weird. But since we did, we could just peel it off when we're done. And surprise, our first print is a pattern of cute oranges. The colors are very vibrant, especially with the white base underneath. Now let's peel off this blue tape from the edges here so that we can see our finished product. 
Okay, that is super cute. And I do like that I didn't give this a background so that we can contrast both the clear and the printed areas. But for my other two designs, I have them as full color, so we'll see how that turns out. So I'll go ahead and place them onto the template on the bed and again, making sure that they're facing the right way. My print file for these boxes are pretty much oriented as the previous ones, so there's no need for me to print and then cancel. I could just go ahead and print it since I know which way it's facing already. These designs have a solid background color, so it's completely blocking out the window. One of them is like a lavender color, the other one is a grayish color. Again, these ones are printing full solid color, so we don't get that clear visual. But I'd like to see how well this turned out. Here's our full coverage print and I mean it's not as exciting as something with a clear window but this isn't a sticker. It's printed directly onto this organizer and let me just take off the tape so we can get a better look at this. I guess since it's a full solid piece you could get a similar effect using vinyl but it won't be as clean and permanent we also have the ridge on the top that might not turn out as smooth let's take a look at the last one which is very similar to the gray one i wanted to show you what overspray looks like it looks like some ink fell into the crevice here so that's why it has that foggy effect i mean it could have been worse if we didn't tape it but yeah, let's say you're printing a product that you want to sell and you know this is going to happen. So you could go ahead and tape the inside as well so you get a cleaner finished product. And that's a wrap. As always, thank you for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. I enjoy reading those. Bye for now.